A while back, we featured the absolute flagship piece by Hi-Fi Rose, something that could stream, serve as an absolute top dog reference grade deck, and brought all kinds of features to that functionality table. Well, that reference grade streamer, DAC, and kind of sort of preamp now has the perfect piece of speaker amplification to be married to it. Enter the Hi-Fi Rose RA180, their flagship, nearly fully analog piece. Single-handedly the greatest piece of speaker amplification kit ever made by Hi-Fi Rose, and something I can already tell you is absolutely competitive at its price point and maybe even a little beyond, which is in keeping with the typical Rose MO. Now, before I get into the nitty gritty of why this is such a fantastic piece, don't forget to subscribe to the Gramophone channel, click that bell icon, and here's your question of the day. What do you think's been the most iconic integrated amp that you can think of? Rose, we brought in just under a year ago, toward the beginning of 2022, to thunderous results. All of us here were impressed with the sounds that it could produce, the feature set that it had, and the price that it offered it for. Now we have a top shelf integrated, along with a few other really cool products on the way. So Rose is expanding, and they are intent on world domination in hi-fi, which I am completely okay with, by the way, because they have yet to disappoint me in any way, shape, or form. And I don't think I can say anything further without, of course, drawing attention to what I know you have already noticed. Look at it! Partly contemporary in some aspects, but completely retro in others. This thing is a steampunk wonderland. And any steampunk fans out there, pff, you're probably drooling right now, much like I was. The gears, the hard switches, the knobs, that is absolutely absent in almost all of today's contemporary hi-fi products. And just touching this thing, even for the first time, was a throwback to good old days. Oh yeah. Yet that stands in a stark contrast to what's underneath the hood of this unit. Underneath the hood of the RA180, Rose is packing what they call Class AD. It's a Class D amp. But what they're trying to say there is that this is a Class D amp, but it's going to remind you more of a Class A amp the way it should. And I have to tell you that while it doesn't sound exactly like an old-fashioned Class A integrated amp would from certain famous manufacturers, it is close, and it has absolutely positively, beyond all shadow of a doubt, done away with all of the typical Class D negatives at least. It is not cold. It is not sterile. It is not boring. It is not unpleasant. This is a perfectly linear, truthful, flat, and I mean that in the good way sounding amp. If you are testing a pair of speakers, for example, hook them up to this, because all you're gonna hear is the character of the speaker. This just gets out of the way. What if I told you we have not one, not two, not three, not four, but that we have eight power amplification channels in this device? Why in the world do you need eight channels worth of amplification and what functions only as a two channel device? Well, the reason is very simple. You have lots, lots of options in this device. You can run this with two completely independent sets of speakers allowing you to switch back and forth. This makes it the perfect amp, especially for demoing and testing speakers for customers, at least for me in the showroom. Here's A, here's B, here's A, here's B. Immediate differences that you can listen to. But at home, maybe you just have two different zones and you both want them to be as high quality as possible. Easy with the RA180. Or you throw it in bridge tied load, where you bridge up two sets of amplifiers to make one whole set essentially four becoming two, and you double the power. This is a 200 watt product into both eight and four ohms. Go figure it's linear even in its power scaling between eight and four. But you put this in bridge, now we have 400 watts into either eight or four ohms. Boom, double the power immediately. Slight note on that. I've also noticed when putting this into bridge mode, I'm not gonna say that the sound improves really. Not, it doesn't really change, but just if I dare say it came off as like a little bit more weighty, like there was a little more meat on the bones. You've got multiple inputs here. Three different traditional RCA line ends are unbalanced. A phono stage with selectable moving magnet or moving coil, serving all of our turntable needs virtually. And of course, there is, thank goodness, 
a set of XLRs in to most likely be paired up with the XLR out on an RS-150B. So we've got our simple input selector here, and whenever you go and adjust it, it drops right into the next gate with a nice, satisfying thock. Oh, it gets even better. Watch this. How freaking cool is that? Don't you just want to do that all day and show it off to all your friends? Coming over here, we have settings for our active crossover and our equalization when we adjust for bass and treble. Really cool thing about this, as you switch each of these on, they light up with both indicators on the knobs and lights to show that they are active. Active crossovers, in my opinion, are the future, and it's what's already being employed just in a preset design, if you will, in active loudspeaker products. The fact that Rose is offering us that, but in a purely analog pure mutation, is very unique and almost completely unheard of, not only in most hi-fi products in general, but especially at this price point in a product that is otherwise much like this. We even have our phono adjustment right down here. That allows us to EQ for individual variances in different phono stages, cartridges, etc. Once again, giving us great fine tuning and adaptability. The volume knob feels amazing. You can feel the resistance of the gears as you turn it, but it's not too much. It gives you just enough tactile feedback where you feel like you could close your eyes and have a feeling of where exactly you put the volume because it's so communicative in that feel. And then over here, we've got simple power switch. Nice solid click when we hit it though. Love that. And then right below the power switch, this actually kind of has a dual purpose. It's a pure direct switch, which would bypass everything over here and just go for complete purity without anything in the way. You can put this into a home theater bypass, specifically on the line three input on the RCA slash unbalanced connectors. If you go into the app and enable that, which it will caution you about doing just to make sure your volume's turned down on whatever is gonna function as a preamp, you can then physically throw this switch when set to line three and it becomes home theater bypass, meaning you get rid of all of the preamp functionality of this integrated amp and make use of only the power amps or the output stage so that you can integrate this into a greater home theater system, but use this and come back to it for two channel listening to make the most of all of its performance in the world of music. And lastly, below that, we have our attenuator setting, our dimmer for our lights, and our subsonic filter if we have any issues with boominess. So if you guys are looking for an absolutely wonderful piece of kit uh, that does so many things that nobody else is doing, or at least nowhere near this price point at least, again, oozes personality and character, and is just downright fun to interact with, you need to look at the RA-180. You'll find it at the link down below on Sky by Gramophone. Secure checkout, fast and free shipping straight to your door. And please, I implore you, if you are even remotely local, come check this thing out with your own two eyes and ears. So please swing on by. You'll find us in Columbia, Timonium, and Gaithersburg, Maryland. Give us a call if you got any more questions about it. In the meantime, such a cool piece. And of course, don't forget about our beautiful kitchen design center in Hunt Valley. I hope you had fun today because I had a ton. This thing is so fun to use. Please give this video a thumbs up and a like if you had a good time or if you felt like you learned something. Drop a comment down below and interact with me a little bit more. If you have any other questions about the RA-180 or the overall experience of it, I'd love to chat about it. Just anything about this product I want to talk about. And of course, thank you so much for stopping by today. Be seeing you.